Mission complete. ESA's Heritage ERS-2 satellite has returned to Earth. But what is ERS-2, and what did it do? The European remote sensing satellites were crucial advancements in European Earth observation technology. ERS-2 launched in 1995, after its sister satellite ERS-1 in 1991. Together they played a pivotal role in monitoring Earth's land, oceans and polar ice caps. The satellite was also essential in disaster management, offering critical insights during floods and earthquakes. At the time of launch, they were the most sophisticated Earth observation spacecraft ever developed in Europe. When ERS-2 launched, climate change was less understood than it is today. But the missions gave scientists the data that helped us to understand the impact humans have on our planet. ERS-2 data is still widely used today through ESA's Heritage Space Program, supporting thousands of scientific publications and enabling scientists to investigate and address key climate-related challenges. But what goes up must come down. Surpassing its planned lifetime of just three years, ERS-2 was retired from its duties in 2011. ESA used the last of its fuel, emptied its batteries, and lowered the satellite from its altitude of 785 kilometers to 573 kilometers. This reduced the risk of collision with other satellites and space debris, going above and beyond the space debris mitigation strategies that existed at the time. That brings us to today. After 13 years of orbital decay, mainly driven by drag, ERS-2 has now re-entered Earth's atmosphere. At approximately 6.17 p.m. CET on the 21st of February, the satellite completed its atmospheric re-entry over the North Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and Alaska. ERS-2 is just one of many objects that regularly re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Satellites of a similar size fall back to Earth multiple times a year. ERS-2's re-entry has long been planned. While it couldn't be controlled, ESA's Space Debris Office meticulously tracked the satellite's trajectory. ERS-2's re-entry is part of ESA's wider efforts to ensure the long-term sustainability of space activities. These include ESA's Clean Space Initiative, which promotes the development of new technologies for more sustainable space missions in collaboration with the wider European space community, and the Zero Debris Approach, which will even further reduce the debris left in both Earth and lunar orbits by future missions. ESA is committed to keeping our orbits clean for exciting new missions to come in the next years. So the benefits of space exploration can continue for future generations.